TV. I'm Myrna Reese. Our guest is Saritza Joy, an award-winning artist Pace featured several years ago in a program where she demonstrated her artistic endeavors, painting flowers, particularly roses, and she was dubbed the Rose Lady. Today, in addition to her flowers, she has mastered the art of painting still life subjects, landscapes, and portraits, some of which are shown here. On our program, she will talk about the various fields and we'll finish a portrait so that you can see and enjoy how it's done. Welcome, Zaritza Joy. Thank you so much, Myrna, for having me here today. Now, what? tell me something. I'm very interested. How long ago did you start painting, and what motivated you? I started painting uh, 14 years ago with my mother-in-law, Pat Joy. Um, she was visiting here from Connecticut. And uh, as we were um, just doing some art and crafts, painting a decorative table, I was very much inspired with colors that she was using. And um, it, she, I asked her if I could maybe uh, paint the same thing. And right after I did it, I copied her totally. She says, Sarita, have you ever done this before? And I said, you know, not for a long time. I did it in school. But she said, why, you really have a gift of art. Why don't you just uh, start painting? So. That's when my husband um, encouraged me to take some classes with some professional artists, and that's when my career started. Now, what subjects are your favorite to paint? I have to say my favorite subject is roses. As I was a floral artist for five years professionally, um, painting for, uh, I think, five different galleries at, at that time, um, I just love painting the roses, Marna. They are so beautiful. I thank God for this great, fabulous gift that he has given me. And I just love to paint. Um, I love to um, dip the brush into my soul and watch them bloom under my brush. And I professionally named you the, the Rose Lady. Yes, and I brought one uh, painting. It's called Duffy's Rose. I painted for my husband. I was only painting a year uh, when I did this, and uh, it's one of my favorite. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Sarita, I know you've won many awards. Please tell us how many did you win and what were they for? Well, I won many different awards. I think altogether, I think 58, and I think we will have a photo of them. But anyway, I became a member of uh, different uh, art associations, Escondido Art Association, La Jolla Art Association, also Carl's Bid Oceanside Art League. And also I was a member of San Diego Museum of Art Artists Guild and San Diego Visual Arts. And uh, these places really allow local artists to um, get exposure and through the competitions, these pieces were judged by professional artists. And I'm just so thankful and honored to win all these awards. And most of them, were win with, most of them I won with my, my floral arrangements, either still life or uh, roses and various different um, displays. And those awards rose you to the designation of Pro Master, correct? Yes, in Escondido Art Association, we competed in different levels, and you usually start in novice, and you advance to it to uh, intermediate and uh, pro master, and then I finally uh, came to the, the compete with a lot of my uh, teachers in a pro master uh, level. So that's that was a, just a, a God given thing. Thank you. Oh, it's marvelous. Yes. Now, where are you showing your art now? I'm showing in La Jolla. I've been with the gallery for five years, and they have over 30 of my pieces on display, and it's, it's really a nice gallery. And you're also showing at the San Diego Museum of Art. Tell us how people can see your art. They can just Google it and go on San Diego Museum of Art Artist Guild, and uh, is all the, I think they have about 350 local artists, and uh, also gives us uh, uh, a, a exposure throughout the world. You've made a name for yourself, Sarisa. How does it feel to be a successful artist? I have to say that one of the largest, the biggest things that I have done as an artist is uh, we had a, a show. It was done in a museum. This was like maybe five years ago. They only picked 35 local artists, and uh, that was really fabulous. But uh, I'm really thankful for this gift. It takes a, it, it's, it takes a lot of determination. As I remember my very first uh, class that I took with uh, Dwayne Light, a local artist, he told me, he says, you have to remember Zarita 4Ds to be a successful artist. You have to have a dream, 
You have to have a desire. You have to have a determination and a discipline. And, and you have to have talent. And you do have to have <laughs> talent. But it's really a lot of hard work. And, and I am so thankful to, I have been with five different galleries at present time with this gallery in La Jolla. And, um, you know, for your art to be, to be sold and loved by many people, I, I think it's, it's, that's what could make you a successful artist. I think that's marvelous. 